This cave is amazing, Ryler. We're lucky to have an expert like you leading this expedition. <sighs> Thanks for inviting us along. Pleasure's all mine, Quasi. I should be thanking you for inviting me to be an Octo agent. <laughs> I can't wait to explore this place. I've heard legends of cave pearls as big as your fist. <laughs> cave pearls aren't pearls at all, Quasi. Oh. They're just rock formations created by the water that rushes through the cave. Yes, real pearls come from oysters or other shellfish, but there may be a different kind of treasure down here, like a new species of animal. <laughs> is it true that this whole section is completely underwater during the rainy season? Sure is. Whoa! That's why we're here in dry season when there's no rain and the river is low. You have to know the right time to explore a cave or else it's too dangerous. <gasps> what was that? Probably a cave monster. Hmm. Sounds more like a storm outside. I thought you said this was the dry season. It is, usually. But it's getting harder to predict when the rainy season will start. <laughs> Looks like it's starting right now. Better head for higher ground. Oh, we made it. It's too dangerous to go back the way we came. Our exit's underwater now. Hmm. Better sound the octo alert. <laughs> Agent Ryler, report, please. No, Captain. Hot Sun from Cave is flooded. Your transmission is breaking up. Ah, we've lost contact. Probably because they're so far underground, Captain. We know Ryler's in Vietnam exploring Hung Sung Dong or Mountain River Cave. That's the largest cave in the world, created over two million years ago by an underground river that cuts through the limestone rock under a large mountain. It sounds like they're trapped, but it looks like there's an opening here. It could be a doline. Ah, yes. A doline is an area in a cave where the rock has collapsed and formed a big hole in the ceiling. If I know Ryla, she'll be looking for an opening like that to get back out. So you better get there quickly with the Octoray. Perfect. We can lower our platform down and lift them out faster and you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. I'd better go too, just in case anyone's hurt. Sounds like a plan. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> with no signal, we can't use the map on our Octo watches. Like I always say, a backup gets you back out. Ahoy, matey! Oh. Yeah. What are you doing? Just making a few little old improvements to the Octo Ray. Check this out. I call it the Gup Holder. Now the Gups can go anywhere. A Gup Holder. <laughs> That's brilliant. Thanks, Quasi. Shiver me whiskers. The Octo Alert! Octo Agent Ca Granddad! Oi there, Quasi! Sound the Octo Alert! Ah, sound the Octo Alert! We already did, Pete. Pete here loves this newfangled Octo Watch, so he was pretty excited when I asked him to sound the Octo Alert. Uh, Calico Jack, what's your emergency? Well, I came to this lovely little island to take a little cat nap, and then... Over here! Walk this way! The frogs are after these beetles, and the beetles are putting up a fight against the frogs. I oh, need some backup. It's more than one pirate can handle. But I reckon two pirates can handle it, eh, Quasi? Aye, aye, Captain. Captain, I can drop Quasi off on the island in the Octoray. You two can test out the new gup holder for me. Octonaut, let's do this. <laughs> Ready, Quasi? Aye, 
inside, Dashy. Activating flying fish mode. Not a bad landing, eh, Grandad? A vast there, matey. So long, Dashy. Duck and cover! Back off! Duck quasi! No! Smelly. You shiver me whiskers. Where'd that come from? Us. We're bombardier beetles. And when we're under attack, we squirt out boiling acid like this. It's like having your own pirate cannon built right into your tails. And it has quite a smell, too. Oh dear, what's that noise? Hmm, we've got some sand in the gears, but so far so good. This water that we're bringing to the animals will help. But what we really need is some rain to fill up that water hole. Let's check the storm tracker. Good idea, Dashy. Maybe there's some rain headed our way. I guess that storm that crashed the octopod at sea didn't make it to the desert. Nope, nothing. I'll keep an eye on the storm tracker. Things can change fast. Looks like the water hole is just ahead. Ooh. And a good thing too. Because the cup egg sounds like it's about to give out, Cap. If you're looking for water, you're out of luck. There's none to be found here. Not even a little bit to dip your beacon. Don't worry. We brought some water for you. Well, in that case, it's nice to meet you. We made it. Barely. <laughs> We're sure are thirsty. We haven't had any water in days. Well, we've got more than enough water for a few little birdies. Your water worries are over. Uh oh drink up, fellas, because here come the elephants. Elephants? Elephants. Are we there yet? Almost, little one. I can't wait. This is my first time at the watering hole. I'm going to take a big drink of water and then I'm going to splash around and wash off all this sand and then I'm going to cool off in the mud and then I'm going well, Why are we stopping here? I don't see any water. <laughs> Mabel! Honey! It's so good to see you again. These are my new friends, the Octonauts. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Any friend of Pani's is a friend of mine. Mabel and I go way back. I'm so thirsty. Hold on. Give me a moment. What's she doing? Elephants from the desert can smell water that's hidden underground and then dig for it with their trunks. That's a nifty trick. Oh dear. This area is completely dry. I don't smell any water hidden under the ground at all. Well, thanks to Pani, we've brought you some water. But I'm afraid there's only enough for everyone to have one drink. That's better than nothing. Form a line, everyone. And only half a trunkful per elephant, please. So there's enough to go around. Oh, that's OK. I can swim the rest of the way from here. Thanks for the lift. Bye. Oh, 
Others love shiny things. Oh, shiny. Oh, super. Shiny, shiny. Phew, thanks for your help. Ha-ha, <laughs> you're welcome. Now, let's get you somewhere safe before he comes back. Where's your home? Up there. Oh, shiver. Whiskers, how are you going to get way up there? I'll climb. Well, I like your can-do attitude, matey, but you're a fish. And fish can't climb. Oh, no. But don't worry. I can do this climb with one paw and... Ah! Uh, where's your little fishy friend? Up here. Oh, oh. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. He's rescued himself. Well, that's not all. Watch this. <laughs> A fish who can climb. I reckon nobody's seen anything like it. Not even Shellington. Shellington, come in. I've discovered a totally new creature. A fish who can climb. Oh, yes. I knew he was a type of fish called a goby, but it looks like he's a rock climbing goby. Oh, so it's not exactly new to you then? Not at all. Rock climbing gobies use their mouths like suckers to stick to the rocks and climb. Thought I'd found a new fish. <gasps> Sorry, I've got to go. There's a bird who needs my help. Shellington out. <coughs> Don't worry, I've got you. Here you go. Thank you. Now you stay right here while I go find you some food. To the Octoray. Wow, look at that! I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond! 